Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today I'd like to invite you to the Hermitage Museum to see just one exhibit, a famous masterpiece by Rembrandt, Danae. In Greek mythology, Danae was the only daughter of Acritius, king of Agas. An oracle prophesied to Acritius that his grandson would kill him. To avoid this, Acritius put his daughter Danae into a tower. He didn't want her to get married and have children. Zeus heard that Danae was very beautiful. He liked her. He came to her in the form of a shower of gold. Danae had a son, Perseus. Once, during Olympic Games, Perseus killed Acritius by accident. Rembrandt started painting Danae in 1636. By that time, he'd been married to Saskia for two years, and she posed for this work. However, researches show that in 1640s he changed the painting significantly, especially the central part of it. At that time he was in love with another woman, Gertia Dirks, and art historians consider that he changed the painting to include her features in the image of Danae. As a result, the painting resembled two women Rembrandt was in love with, Saskia and Gertia. The painting remained in Rembrandt's home for a long time, until 1656, when Rembrandt went broke and his property was auctioned off. The masterpiece came to Russia as part of Pierre Krasa's collection, which was obtained by Catherine the Great on the advice of Denis Diderot in 1772. In the Imperial Hermitage Museum, Masterpieces were grouped together not according to the school of art, but rather basing on the subject of paintings. And in those days, Rembrandt's Danae was exhibited next to Titian's Danae, and viewers could compare different approach of artists and their rendering of the same subject. The record of this masterpiece is not only centered on the subject, painter, and history of its acquisition. It includes one more event that shook the Hermitage Museum in 1985, in the days of the Soviet Union. On the 15th of July, 1985, a person walked into the Hermitage Museum. He had a bottle with some liquid in it, but in those days nobody really cared and people were allowed to bring their drinks in local museums. The person, his name was Bronius Feigis, came to the Dutch art exhibition and asked one of the museum attendants which painting was the most valuable here. After that, he came up to Rembrandt's Danae, opened his bottle and splashed what he had in it onto the masterpiece. He even managed to slash the canvas twice with his knife before he was caught. The poor masterpiece started to change colors as the liquid bubbled and flowed down. The bottle had contained sulfuric acid. After the arrest, the vandal announced that he had committed this in retaliation for the Soviet Union occupation of the Baltic states. Later on, he changed his mind in favor of hatred towards women. And he finished with a trivial wish to become famous and attract attention. The court pronounced him insane, and he ended up in the asylum for criminal lunatics. We are in the parts of the Winter Palace that we don't normally see with tourists. It is a former private church and in Soviet days it housed restorers' workshops. It is over here that Danae by Rembrandt was restored. It took 12 years to revive the masterpiece and in 1997 it returned to the exposition of Dutch art, this time under bulletproof glass. I hope you've enjoyed our short visit to the Hermitage Museum. For more videos, subscribe to our channel. And if you'd like to learn more about the Hermitage or any other museum of St. Petersburg, you are welcome to order our tours. You will find a link in the description. See you soon!